What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth WordPress tutorial in which we'll be starting off with some real coding of WordPress themes. As you can see, I have opened this my first theme in my sublime text editor and you can just open it in any editor you like but I just prefer sublime so here we go. And uh, we saw that in the last video our website looks blank for now for our custom theme well that's not what we want we want an awesome theme so let's start coding of off so for index.php you would require something like you can add pretty much anything you want to say let's just add a simple HTML page let's just say my home page uh, let's just say hello world pretty much our first hello world with WordPress themes and go to your website you can see that you get hello world and if you resource it's pretty much same as if you have written a simple HTML document and opened it in your favorite browser then what's the use of WordPress well actually with WordPress you have access to PHP so if I just activate this 2015 theme and go to my website you can see we get this hello world post and if I just create another post let's just say this is testing my testing not really one two three one two three uh, let's just publish this off and uh, on our home page you can see that we get two posts right now the testing one and the hello world one so when I activate my own theme you can see that nothing appears but a simple hello world so what makes the other theme work like that so that is basically the other theme is querying the database and uh, the database is actually this localhost php admin wp and right here you can see that this is wp post table and this table contains this post right here this mic testing and it is a couple of times because I guess one of its occurrences is sort of a draft or something is a revision so you don't need to worry about that very much so let's just close and get rid of that and pretty much just write some code to display our post so here goes the PHP and since WordPress comes with a lot of methods inbuilt because you know it's a framework so it gives you a lot of things itself before even you start creating your own things so for example you have a have post as a method a function you can say which returns a boolean value if your database the database this one uh, this table right here if it contains any sort of post values then this half post would return true so you don't have to like do like connection is my SQLI connect no not that stuff WordPress would take care of that for you so you just have access to this direct method so you're gonna say if half post that means there are some posts available for us then you can say while half post that pretty much means while this is true and so you have the post and uh, as long as you have the post I want to call this in the post method now what this is doing is that pretty much as I have told you that half post would return you a boolean value depending upon the if the database has some posts or not well I didn't tell you the complete thing it actually returns the index whether a post is found at that particular index or not so for example if your ID starts from one it would say that half post is true if it founds a post at ID number one and it is false if it doesn't found a post at ID number one so the post would increment the ID of the post that half post is checking so consider it like this so when the loop enters you have half post as one let's just say you do have 
ID number one or post one in your database, then the post increments this particular value to two. Now you don't have that. So this while loop would end up and you would just get a nice little list of only valid posts on your website and no MySQL errors. So this the post is required and uh, after that pretty much we have access to anything you want to have from the post so let's just say you just want to display the title so you can say echo um, the title and this title would be obviously associated with the same post which this the post is calling so let's just do a PR as well and right here you can just reload this and as you can see we get these two inputs outputs as actually the testing and hello world because our post area contains only these two posts with the titles as hello world and testing now let's just add a bit more information to our post so that it looks relevant so let's just say I want to have content as well so I'm gonna say echo the content you can see that it's not that bad as it might you know sound WordPress so these functions are pretty user-friendly and meaningful you don't have to just lose your mind in MySQL connections WordPress automatically does a lot of stuff for you so after this the content for example if you want to insert like social sharing buttons you can say like like our post share it on social network and this is just a simple example then there's some sort of buttons in here and that's how pretty much most of the people code their websites the developers who sell things and here we go and if I reload you can see that we get testing then mic testing not really one two three one two three which is which was the post body of this testing post then for the sharing button we get like tar post and then again welcome to WordPress this is your first post and uh, we get hello world actually here because there's no break in here well you can just do something like h1 the title then you can say very much h1 instead of br so reload and uh, wait a minute okay so looks like the HTML doesn't like it okay so looks like WordPress is sort of automatically adding the P tags and yes I know that WordPress does that so okay so there's some sort of problem WordPress is creating with the heading tags so instead of trying this approach what we can do is actually just close your PHP tag in here and just write your simple HTML so you don't need these codes and you can say that PHP the title And I guess I pretty much found out the reason and the reason is that you don't need to echo the title because that would pretty much echo itself so that would be a better approach I guess so just close the PHP body again and just get rid of these codes and only say and actually you can just omit the PHP word itself if you want to this would work as well uh, let's just get rid of this for now and don't forget to close your um, while loop so here we go you can see that our while loop is closed but not the if statement so here we go and when you reload this we can see that this shortcut is not available for my XAMPP so this there's an option to available uh, make that thing work and this would be in some php.ini configuration or somewhere 
I would just find that and let you know but for now if it doesn't work then just switch it to PHP only and now you can see that it works perfectly fine with h2 tags and pretty much you can just echo out the content as well and here we go reload uh, looks really nice well before ending this tutorial I'm gonna show you another thing and that is actually you can link to your post by making use of PHP the permalink now this permalink the permalink would fetch permalink this one so it would fetch the same permalink which you have right here and uh, would just make it the title link to that particular thing so this is my href and there's a closed reload and you can just go to that particular post as well and though we don't have any file for post for now but it still shows its best it can do so if you just automatically create any new post in future let's just say this is the post and publish it your home page would be pretty much updated itself pretty sweet so that's how pretty much you create a very basic web page with wordpress and we'll be doing a lot lot more than this but hey this is a start and congratulations on your first wordpress theme and i hope to see you in future tutorials as well because they are going to be real fun and real awesome to work with so if you like this video tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching